2019, we had 70 freeride world qualifying events across the globe, with over 2,700 competitors battling out for a spot on the Freeride World Tour. What is the Freeride World Tour, you ask? It is an annually toured series of events in which the best free skiers and snowboarders come together to compete for the overall title of the world champion. And there is yet to be a single event in Australia. What's going on? There's so much action here on the Freeride World Tour in Ordino Arcalis as we wait for the judges to decide which one of these women is going to stand on the top of the podium. Yeah, that's right. I think that I'm going to put it out there right now. It's going to be Nuria, Michaela and Marianne on the podium, but I'm just not sure which order it's going to be. So we're going to find out in a hot second. The Sun God Rider out of Australia. Sun God, of course, the eyewear part of the Freeride World Tour. And Michaela Davis, me in first place. 80.33. The young Australian rookie hugging it out with the other rookie from Spain here in Andorra, Achilles Ordino. What a mix up. The first rider from Australia to win a Freeride World Tour event in women's snowboarding. What a day. I think if we hosted a competition in Australia, it would just blow up the freeriding scene. I think it would open up so many eyes for younger kids to see the way that other people are riding and not just be pushed into ski racing. It's the one thing that is, you know, everyone goes into race club. Like, if you're a good skier, you go into race club because that's all there is. So I think if we start hosting these free ride competitions in Australia, there's just gonna be so much opportunity and so much more variety for kids to explore different ways of snow sport. I think if we had a comp here in Australia, the Freeride World Tour would see a lot of Aussies up there. Uh, we definitely have the talent, um, but free riding for Australia, I think is still fairly new, especially in the comp scene. So to bring it here, I think we'd have another revenue of um, what snowboarders can take a different path and, and skiers and yeah, explore the rest of the mountain. I believe that we have an outstanding amount of talent in Australia, especially in uh, the younger generations. Um, everyone would have seen Michaela Davis Meehan on the Freeride World Tour, absolutely killing it. Um, so, you know, seeing an Aussie on the, on the big stage and doing well is another reason to promote the sport and, and um, really get things happening down in Oz. And yeah, there's just, there's no, there's no negatives that come from promoting free ride in Australia at all like it's only gonna make the sport bigger and it's gonna maybe even bring people um, that haven't tried skiing and snowboarding before you know and, and you know bring them to the mountains yeah with free ride what it means to me I think is really just allowing you to put out there all of your creativity and your riding and really show like what you've got push the sport to the absolute max I mean I think hosting an event here in Australia hopefully will bring riders from across the globe to come check out Australia and see the resorts and the mountains that we have. We've definitely got some epic terrain. Hosting an event here would just be unreal and it's, it's almost silly to think that we don't have one yet. You know, one of the biggest parts of, of the struggles of competing is that we have to go to a whole nother country, you know, and that adds on to the bank, like flights, accommodation. But if we had one here at home, uh, it also opens that up for people who, yeah, might not be able to get overseas or um, just, yeah, haven't discovered it yet. So I think people, more people would find out about it if we had one on our own tour. It's so, it's so hard to have sponsorships and be an Australian rider and stay actually in Australia for that snow season and not try and go somewhere else even though it really is appealing because 
you know, we don't have competitions where we can get your name out there or you can go and do really well and get some good results, or rack up some points and get your name back out there. It's, I think we need it. Yeah, the whole sport itself is rapidly expanding and we need to have it happening here in Australia. Currently we're missing out. So if we were to have an event, it would give all the, the youth of today to get involved and have a chance at competing. I just think that overall that, you know, if we were to bring free ride to Australia, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be positive after positive after positive for, for everyone involved. Oh, absolutely. I think especially places like Mount Hotham, where our terrain is incredible off paced and in the back country. I think if we hold these competitions, people are gonna to start to realize that it's not just this inbound stuff. We've got so much more to offer and that mountain is not just that secluded little resort part. There is so much more to it. And it's not just Hotham, it's everywhere. It's Threadbow, it's Perisher. You know, even Mount Buller has incredible um, side country and back country terrain that just no one even knows about. So, you know, we have good mountains in Australia. Yes, they're not big, obnoxious European mountains, but we've got them and they're there and they are just as fun and just as steep as anything else. like being on top of something that scares you and being able to embrace that fear and then overcome it and like when you succeed at what, whatever it is you're trying to, to pull off whether it's a trick or a cliff or you know and you successfully get top to bottom in a run and especially in a competition too it's the best feeling like I could ski powder days and have really fun with the quality of snow and I could ski the worst Icy Mogul Day comp, but if I like succeeded in what I was trying to achieve in that comp, that would be better than any powder run I've ever had. For me, it's my form of creativity. It's like drawing a picture for me on a blank canvas. It's creating my own way down with my own flow and my own style and getting to just ride the way that comes naturally to me. It's, it's just having fun, really having fun and being playful and trying new things and looking at the mountain in different ways as well because when you're given a certain face and it's groomed, you're like, okay, well, I'm going to go down the groomed part because that's where they're sort of telling me where to go. But when you're free riding, it's that whole aspect is yours to explore. So you start to look at different ways to get down and it becomes, you know, a completely new way of looking at an aspect and a face. It's yeah, it's really yeah. fun. Free riding and what it means to me, it, it changed my life and it, it brought me to where I am now. Like I wouldn't be here in, you know, Nelson, BC, Canada. It's, it, ena it enables me to, to put my signature on a mountain or, you know, whatever you might call it, but it's, it's freedom of expression for me. Yeah, so free riding, it is in the name, it's free. Like you get to go wherever you want, pick whatever your line is, and it's, it's always different, which is what I really love about it.